Okay, this is what I got so far. And just in case I lost my stuff again, um, keep having problems with that. Yeah. Hopefully I didn't, I'll double check. If not, I'll restart this again. But this is what I've gotten so far with the black gesso and I've painted the back. And then there's the little stand. So I'll be back. Okay, everyone, here's the finished product. Let's see if I can stand it's pretty tall. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Let's try that again. Kind of throwing away. Not one of my best videos, but um, I adhered it together with glue, and then I used some twine at the bottom to help reinforce it. And so here's the front. And then flip it over. And I just kind of kept it plain on the back and accented a little bit. The base is kind of a little wobbly. But I did use uh, the patina paste and the rest effect paste. Um, the base was a uh, heavy black gesso. I use buttons, all kinds of little baubles, everything from Ken Oliver, Tim Holtz, Prima, you name it, I used on here. Let's see if I can get a little closer here so you can see the texture on it. wanted that really old like it's been through the <laughs> been through it so that's what it looks like so leave your like subscribe leave your comments down below uh, let me know what you think and um, these kits work really well together. I highly recommend them. Um, this has everything from um, glue pieces on it that I used silicone molds, um, the buttons, that piece is um, hot glue, this piece is resin, um, that little butterfly is hot glue. And the little bird's nest is hot glue as well. And I think I may hit this with a little bit of the alchemy waxes to bring it, bring up the shine more on certain pieces. So, but that's what I got for you today. So, um, happy crafting. Thanks.